Welcome to Masters at Wagtail. Today I want to talk about poles just out of reach. And when you have diners and you're like me, I don't like standing on furniture, so I'm kneeling. So it may be a little too short to go all the way to the top of the frame, especially when you got the table in the way. But you can all work for one, from one side. Now I have a couple of different ways I do this diner. I'll run a whole stretch of shades and I'll put them all the way up. Then I'll use a pole and then I'll come and I'll knock them all out from the pole. And then I'll wrap the rag around the pole and then I'll wipe the ledges up and then pull the shades down all from walking down that aisle. You see where people walk down to sit in the booths? I stay in one line. Everything is done from that, from that side, except for the shade. Because I can't grab the shade from the aisle, so I have to lean forward, but that's easy. You work smart, not hard, especially when you get my age. All right? So, in this case, I've mentioned before in my previous episodes of tips and tricks that I used a wagtail angle adapter to get up under the shade and uh, to reach it from both sides of the table. All right. Now, because I can't find my wagtail angle adapter and Herman Wielden on Facebook so bluntly put that I could have, he saw one of my videos and he brought it to my attention that I could have brung the window all the way down without cutting it in half and two. Most of you remember I don't I don't work hard. I work smart. So I never cut the window in two. I wag it all the way to the ground. And I have an episode of showing you what tools that will allow you to do this. So if anyone knows better as me, because I'm nasty with a pole. You know, it ain't nothing I can do. I could do everything with a pole all the way from top down to the bottom and the window come out good. <clears throat> so that's not the question, but uh, he was only trying to help, I guess. You know, Herman has more years on me, but uh, Herman's, Herman's pretty smooth himself with a, with a tool, you know. He makes his own tools. But anyway... This wagtail flex pole is the perfect thing to hold for one from uh, one hand for poles. I mean for poles for windows just out of reach, and you need a little short pole, cheap pole. Richie Blue has one. A few other tradesmen I know have them, but uh, it's light. It's very light. Um, Mormon has a little little itty bitty pole too. I think it's like two feet. Uh, 24 inches and it collapsed down to uh, about 8 or 10 inches or is it 12? I don't know. I forget. I lost that pole. That was a nice pole they sent me. No, actually Windows 101 was sending that out with uh, a Mormon order. You get a pole with it. A little short pole. That was a promotion they was running. But uh, I tie see, this is also good too. So you see where this bench is, right? You could literally take your rag and use it to wipe the ledge in two booths. And you can clean this window if you had to and the one you're sitting in in front of. So uh, it has this value. Now, when you're holding it all the way out here, it's got some weight to it. So you just want to be comfortable with, you know what I mean? Because actually I hold it here. Because that's the only thing, that's all I need to get the window. This is why I said the wag, wagtail angle adapter works in this fashion too. Because with that wagtail angle adapter on the squeegee, it's still about this length anyway. But this design, like I told you, you could use it like a gooseneck, your ledger. If you got deep ledges, you just flip it around the opposite way versus with the elbow towards the glass which is mainly used for lower windows. If you have to maneuver over obstacles, it just makes it that much easier with that angle. Because remember I said, it's like your wrist when you have it the, the normal way. 
When you have it the opposite way, it's like that. And that's for deep ledges. When you got a pole, do straight poles. So I don't use it this way because I can't get that angle so close up. That's only if you're far away from the glass. So in this case, you want to do this. All right. So this is what you want to do. This is how I use it with this particular tool anyway. With another tool, you might have to go and twist it on a left or a right angle because it won't be too much this way and it won't be too much this way. It'll be like halfway. Here's what I mean. All right, now you see how I have it the opposite way? And then when I turn it this way, you see how the squeegee is? It's on a, it's on a slant, all right? It's twisted sideways. See, you could play around with it like that if you had to just go like this. You feel me? It's a lot easier than from this way or this way. But see, when you have it tilted, it's the right angle, and you could cross-pull it easy. You see how that works? This is the only tip you will see about how to really get down and use these angle adapters to your advantage. If you watch my Wagtail angle adapter series, I have three videos on that and explaining that. But I didn't explain it with this, but Wagtail angle adapter or any angle adapter, the concept stays the same. All right, so there you have it. Today's little tip for angle adapters and windows just out of reach. Use your angle adapter to your advantage. Flex pole is a very good pole. And so is a few others. But this is Masters at Wagtail, and I'll see you in the next one. Macka Frackle Lacka. Peace, peace, peace. Where's me gold? I want me gold and I want it now. There's going to be a killing if I don't get me gold shilling. Remember that little leprechaun movie? Leprechaun in the hood, leprechaun in space. That little leprechaun was high as a kite smoking that. He, oh, this is some nice smoke. Oh, give me more. <laughs> but this is Masters at Wagtail, and I'll see you in the next one. Bam.